Hello, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Danielle. Subscribe down below. I've been posting videos literally every day. I'm going insane. Not really, actually. It's actually kind of fun. <laughs> if you guys follow me on social media, you know I've been really into this hashtag I created for myself called hashtag self care summer and I'm excited because this video is sponsored by care of I will be talking about them a little bit later I love the summer it's about two months of time for yourself or whatever you choose to do whether if you choose to get a job or do summer school or be a camp counselor or travel or literally stay in every day or just go to the beach all the like this the summer has so much opportunity for you and I'm realizing that in a couple of years I won't necessarily get a summer because I'll probably be working a real job, I think. I don't really know. So, like, that's kind of crazy to think about because then you just don't get a summer. Like, if you're a teacher, you get a summer, which is cool. But, like, other jobs, you just simply don't get a summer. So, anyways, I'm trying to make use of my last few summer breaks. Oh, my gosh, that's so crazy. This summer, I really just, my goal is to feel good about myself. And with that comes being healthy and fit. So, I thought I'd make a video not called how to be healthy and fit in the summer. But this is how I'm staying healthy and fit over the summer and these are just things that I'm gonna do easy ways to get your workout in fun things to do my favorite healthy snacks just kind of all of the above I actually wrote this list in the middle of finals I was sitting at my desk and I was eating Cheez-Its actually and I was like Danielle what are you doing let's talk about how you're gonna change this over the summer so I I don't know I got inspired so first off let's talk about mentality what are your goals how do you want to feel after the end of the summer for me I really just want to feel good and look good would be cool too but for me when I'm working out and I'm actively doing good things for my body I feel like I look better so it's all about your mentality with summer you just can't make as many excuses because you have all this free time I'm not saying all of you have all this free time I understand Everyone has their own commitments over the summer, but for the most part, you have more time in the summer because you don't have school and you can't make excuses like, oh, I have a test tomorrow. You just can't unless you're doing summer school. Totally fair. So that's why I love the summer because I just, I can't make other excuses and you just simply have so much time to cook and discover new recipes and work out more and just do more good things for yourself so that's why I love the summer because I don't feel guilty working out instead of like doing something else that I should be doing also my biggest motivation um, to like work out and just get fit over the summer is about how good I will feel and hopefully look when I get back to school in the fall there's nothing better than just coming back to school after you like had a great summer and you just did good things for yourself and you're just walking around like yeah like I feel good. Last summer I worked out a lot and I actually got really tan too. So I remember just going back to school and just feeling good about myself and not in a cocky way by any means, but just feeling good and just being happy. And it's just, I don't know, take it for what you will. You can make it like your little revenge body situation. If there's people back at school that you just want to like flex on, you know, let the summer be your time to work on the flex. So first off, I want to talk about my favorite types of workouts. Um, easy ways to get your steps in um, over the summer. Obviously, you guys know spin is my favorite type of workout these days. So I, if you guys do live in, camp, in Tampa, I go to Camp Tampa. We're actually getting a soul cycle next month, so I'll probably be checking that out as well. I also love Soho Cycle Studio in Tampa. There's lots of great options for spin. There's also Cycle Bar, which I haven't been to yet. I've been going to spin every other day, and I feel great. I love these spin studios because they also do stuff with your arms, so like halfway through the class, you're lifting weights and everything, but it's also just great cardio. It's great to build your endurance and you just sweat a lot and it's just good for your mind like usually a lot of the classes like towards the end they'll play one song where they just turn the lights off and you just spin and you just think about your life and it's just like a good self-reflection time and it always just puts me in the best mood and you're just releasing lots of endorphins and I love doing those classes in the morning because then maybe later I'll go to the beach or go to the pool and I just feel better because I know I worked out that morning I also was doing Orange Theory this whole last year which is also great for toning I'm not into it as much anymore I'm just I'm into spin I also love Zumba Zumba is really fun if you have a gym membership at your local gym a lot of gyms usually um, do Zumba classes a couple times a week so that's always fun if you're down to like work out with some middle moms it's a good time I've also heard great things about Barry's boot camp I haven't done it I heard it's intense it's like 10 times more intense than orange theory so I'm a little nervous um, but that's something else you can try I also love just if you're a dancer and you haven't danced in a while go just do a pickup dance class hip-hop ballet contemporary lyrical just 
get your body moving, do something fun. Something I did last summer is I joined um, a local gym. I think I joined LA Fitness last summer and they had like all these amazing amenities. They have like a sauna and a steam room, which is also something great to do to just get your body sweating. Um, if you're not gonna work out, at least sweat somehow. Um, and they had like a pool. If you don't have a pool of your own, you can go for laps in that pool or I'll just go out back and I'll just do a ton of laps and do handstands and that's just something to get active, whatever it can be. Um, just kind of whatever suits your fancy. Or if you're on vacation or if you live near a beach, when you're at the beach, just go for walks on the beach. The sand is a lot harder to walk in. Go for a run on the beach, that'll give you a real workout. I, I haven't gotten to that level yet. Also, this again, these are things that I can do in Florida, so I understand not all of you guys can do this, but if you get the chance, go kayaking or paddle boarding. Those are great workouts, especially paddle boarding when you're like standing, that's such a good core workout. I just like to think of things over the summer that are just fun to do that you wouldn't have time to do during the school year when you're at work. Or something I like to do, this is something you have to do in the morning because at least in Florida, it gets so hot hot and humid. My mom and I like to just kind of beat the heat and we'll go for a bike ride. We'll bike ride to our, like, our local coffee shop and reward ourselves by getting a coffee once we get there and putting the gears up high on our bike so that it's a good workout and it's just you're in the sun so you're also getting some vitamin D and you just it's a great way to start the day but it's better to do it earlier in the morning or just go for a walk. Usually your parents or family members want to do that. Like my dad loves to go for walks. My mom loves to go for walks so I'll do that with them sometimes. And another thing you can do is go to the zoo or a museum or the aquarium. The aquarium is my number one pick and you're just walking around for hours without realizing it because you're like looking at everything but you're getting a good workout and even going to like an amusement park with your friends over the summer is low-key a good workout so just putting it out there. I'm always really into trying new vitamins for my body and just kind of getting all the nutrients in that I'm not always getting from what I'm eating. I like to say I eat pretty well but I honestly I still I'm a I'm a college student. I definitely still just eat junk food sometimes because I want to. I'm not a super clean eater. I'm not even going to lie. So I like to get my nutrients in via vitamins. You guys know about Care of. I've talked about it before and I'm really excited that they wanted to sponsor this video. So I used Care of in the past, but recently my needs and wants have changed. So I went on their website and you basically take a quiz and they just ask you all these different questions like how often are you working out? Do you feel tired all the time? All these different questions and you're like, wow, I didn't even think about that. Um, and then they create um, a personalized vitamin pack for you that's a daily pack right here um, with all the vitamins that you need. So I'm gonna list off the ones that they gave me. I'm so hype about it. I'm not even kidding. Like, And this is just such a cute package and it's like a little dispenser so I've been keeping it here on my desk and I'm gonna be using it over the summer and you will be seeing these in my vlogs a lot this summer. So these are the cute little packs right here. I love, they're seriously so aesthetically pleasing. Like, good job, Kara. It says, hi, Danielle. On each one, it says Danielle, and it's got all of my vitamins for the day on there. And it actually says, today's challenge. Go for a walk today and leave your phone at home. Ah, unplugging. Yeah, literally, unplugging is a chore, but it is so good. So in here, we've got fish oil for my heart, axtansithin for my skin, vitamin C for fitness, B complex for my hair, Digestive enzymes for digestion, rhodiola for energy, and ashwagandha for fitness. So, and I'll let you guys know how it goes, but I'm pretty hyped about it. So yeah, I wanted to include them in this video because I think it's just a really easy way to kind of stay in touch with your health and well-being. Um, and it's really, really easy. And when I'm traveling, I'm just going to bring these with me. Let's say I'm going on a five-day trip. I'll bring five packs. Easy, boom, done. So I'll have a link down below to their website so you can take the quiz and check out the vitamins that they recommend for you. If you use the code DANIELLE C, you get 50% off your first month. So I say try it. Let me know what you guys think, but I think you'll like it a lot. All right, next up, I have written down a ton of things that I really like to eat, kind of like healthy summer snacks I enjoy and just easy ways to stay healthy. I wrote down, eat lots of fruits and veggies. Seriously, fruits and veggies Veggies? Veggies, that's a thing. Fruits especially are usually more in season in the summer and they're just a lot juicier and yummier. Watermelon is my absolute favorite summer snack. It used to be my favorite food. My favorite food is now pasta, which I'm ashamed of, but it's just so good. But watermelon is my all-time favorite. Seriously, it's such a good snack in the summer when you're like by the pool. Just a little slice of watermelon. Mm, so good and it's just the best in the summer like I said but yeah summer is a great time to just stock up on your fruits and vegetables whether it be baby carrots or sugar snap peas um, celery so yum did I already say baby carrots probably because I'm obsessed just because in the summer it's hot so you want cooling things I also love just slices of cucumber that's very cooling put some on your eyes and eat them if you want you also have a lot more time in the morning so if you want to make yourself a yummy smoothie I did that a lot last summer where I kind of experimented every morning with my Nutribullet and just made different smoothies you can 
can go to, you know, your local grocery store and get frozen acai if you want and make your own acai bowl with like tons of toppings just because you've, you've got time. Like, why not? Like, I'm probably going to do that. I also love drinking either celery juice or green tea in the morning just to kind of start my metabolism and just get my day started. Some of the things I have written down are sushi. Sushi is just super yummy and kind of more light, so that's kind of nice. I love the vegetable rolls or California rolls. Also, hummus with carrots or pita chips is great. Caprese salad is yummy and easy if you literally just like cut up a ton of tomatoes and put, I forget what type of cheese you put on caprese salad, but like, you know, the cheese on top with like olive oil and vinaigrette, so yummy and easy. If you want to spoil yourself, you can eat it, eat it with a little bread, um, but it's better without, and it's really filling and yummy. I also wrote down grilled veggies at a barbecue. Whenever we're barbecuing, you know, we'll make like burgers and stuff or steak, but then you also, it's so easy to just cut up vegetables and grill them, honestly, and they're really, really tasty, and it's just like a great summer snack. You can even make yourself some kebabs if you're feeling it, but I'm personally just too lazy and just don't, so. And lastly, I wrote stay hydrated. Get yourself a hydro flask or a swell or just a water bottle that holds a lot of water. I try to drink three of these a day at least. This is 37 ounces, I believe. I can't remember. 40 ounces. This is 40 ounces. Mm. I love the Hydro Flask with the straw lid. It is my precious gem. I love it so much. Staying hydrated is so underrated, especially in the summer. It's so important. And it's great for your skin. My skin's been looking really good lately, and I can't help but think one of the reasons is because I've been drinking lots of water. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys got some tips out of this. Honestly, I'm feeling super inspired. I'm going to go make myself a Caprizi salad right now because that sounds yummy. I seriously hope this video was helpful or even if it just motivated you to kind of start thinking about doing better things for your body, why not? I will have Kara linked down below again, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you very soon for my next one. Bye guys!